Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we will take Yaystar P550 as an example to explain how to deploy a P-Series PBX from factory status to work in a business telephony system. Now let's take a brand new P550. First of all, if we need install modules to set ports on the front set panel for physical chunks, we can install relevant modules into our PBX. First, we can loosen up the screws and open the case. There are four slots for module installation on the motherboard. Here we take the OT module as an example and install it on slot 1. This way the corresponding interface 1 and 2 in the front side panel will work as FXO ports compatible with analog chunks. After we finish with all the modules, we can close up the case again. Then we can take advantage of the NFC on our P550 to change the IP address of the PBX using our mobile. Of course, we need to make sure that our mobile comes with the NFC function. Then, we should have the Linkus mobile app of the latest version installed on our mobile. And we open Linkus on our mobile. On the login page, click on NFC. Our NFC chip is embedded there. And put your mobile close to the Yaystar logo on the P550. Please note that the NFC chip of different mobile is located in a different place. Please confirm with the manual or the mobile dealer. After scanning the NFC chip, we can see the default IP address of the P550 and we can change the IP address according to our network environment. Then we can scan the NFC again to write the new parameter into the PBX. Once we're down, we'll see our mobile indicate us that the NFC writing is successful. We can turn on the PBX. A new IP will take effect. Before we get into the web GUI, we can check the status light to see if the hardware installation is done correctly. The power LED indicator is static green. The system LED indicator is on and will be blinking in green in a few seconds. The LED indicators of the WAN port and the LAN port will be on if connected to network. The port indicators will become orange for a few seconds, turn off for a few seconds, and finally turn to a kind of color and the color depends on the module we have installed. Connect the PSC in line to port 1 and the LED indicator will turn static red. Connect the LAN port to the local network environment. Now all LED indicator status are normal. We can log in and start configuring the system. When we log into the system for the first time, a configuration wizard will guide us through the initial settings. We can follow it step by step. And if a detailed procedure is needed, please refer to this video. There we have all the information for the configuration wizard. Now we can move on to create extensions. The system has already pre-configured extensions. We can go to the extension setting page to check them out. Of course, we can also double click on each one of the extensions if we need to modify the extension number or make other changes here. We can add user information as well as the mailbox, of course. It will be vital for configuration afterward. Remember to click on save and apply so all changes made will take effect. And if we need more extensions, we can click on add. When creating new extensions, the system will generate parameters automatically according to the settings of the existing extensions. Of course, we can still make changes if necessary. And if we need to add multiple extensions, we suggest the CSV form template as the most convenient way. Click on export and the system will download the template. We can open it with Microsoft Excel. And then we can add multiple extensions as we need. Once we finish, click on save and upload this form into the PBX. New extensions will be created. Then we can continue to set up Linkus UC application for all extensions. So users will have terminals to make phone calls. First of all, go to Linkus server to set up Linkus service. Yaystar offers a private tunnel for all Linkus users on the web or mobile to maintain a connection locally or remotely without static public IP address or port forwarding. Here we can click to activate this service. And then we could customize our domain for the PBX. This domain will be used to register and log into Linkus Web, mobile, as well as the administration interface. The system will indicate if the domain we have put in is available. If everything's okay, we can move forward. And go to extension list to select all extensions. And click to send a welcome email to the mailbox assigned in the previous step of all extensions. Now end users can open the mail and follow its guidance to register and log into Linkus web or mobile client to make internal calls. 
This mail will make sure all users can directly go into the App Store or Google Play to download the Linkus UC application. Now we've already set our system to make internal costs. But to make external costs, we need to set up chunk. We can check the status of physical chunks here. If we want to use the SIP chunk, we can add it here. Click on Add. We need to confirm the relevant information with our service provider and type it in. There are two methods to finish the basic settings. Create a SIP chunk with a template, and the other one is to create a generic SIP chunk. It depends on the ITSP your SIP chunk is supplied from. If your ITSP is listed, you can create a template at SIP chunk with pre-configured settings. Well, if you can't find your chunk providers, you can create a general chunk with all parameters to be configured manually. The system has pre-configured inbound and outbound call rules to make sure to ensure that we can make and receive external calls without any further configuration. Still, if we need to set our own rules, we can go to call control settings to customize and create new rules. For a detailed procedure, please check on the link in the description. We have all material needed right here. So now we can have our system working fine to make phone calls. This is how we can quickly set up a P550 system. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about Yaystar P-Series PBX, please visit yaystar.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already.